Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome to Last on Earth Survival. So we've gotten a brand new update, and it's a pretty massive update, as we've gotten a brand new permanent location. We've also gotten here some new blueprints, so now we can craft this drone and docking station, we can craft this drone upgrade workbench. To get that stuff, we have to go to the transport hub, and that's the brand new permanent location that I was talking about. There were some changes done to the settlement, there were some quality of life improvements, like for example this workbench. So now when you open up the workbench, you're met with modification crafting and customization. Let's say we want to craft some blueprints, we just click on this modification craft. Crafting, and here we can assemble our blueprints just as before. But now when we go to customization, things here are a little bit different. Here you can set lots of different presets. And once you save those presets, you can click here this arrow and your Glock is going to be fully modded. Or here comes my favorite feature. As you can see, we have lots of these guns here in the backpack. And before we'd have to modify every single gun here manually. But check this out. We go over here and we click on this backpack arrow and boom, all of these guns were modified. So we can just go to backpack and everything's applied here. I've just saved over a minute probably. That is insane. I've been waiting for this feature since day one when these weapon blueprints were released and finally we've gotten this feature. So now we have to figure out everything about the new location and we are gonna go to this settlement very soon. But before we do this, I wanna show you this brand new location. It is over here, this transport hub. It looks like in this transport hub, we can find blueprints of drone modules. We can also find here ATV transmissions, which is very interesting. You could have only gotten those ATV transmissions by spinning caps at the gas station. But now we can also get that stuff apparently in the transport hub. Also the transport hub is gonna have lots of of different other resources such as these iron frames we can also get these sturdy frames we can get iodine we can get a drone replacement battery we can also find drone parts it looks like we can also get these rotors coils more spark plugs because we could have only gotten spark plugs at the highway in that gas station we can also find here motor oil it looks like we can also find here these rubber hoses because before we could have only gotten them from expeditions and there were really a huge bottleneck so it's very nice to see that we can get these rubber hoses here there are also a bunch of other new resources like these copper wires we also have these flight controllers. We also have here these iron pipes. We can get here asbestos. So it looks like this location is going to help you assemble your ATV. It's going to help you assemble your boat. And on top of that, you'll be able to progress further in the settlement. And let's also not forget about the tactical backpack. It looks like this place also can give you a tactical backpack. So that's very interesting. I'm excited to go to that place. But before we go there, welcome to the settlement. So now we can go and talk to Connor. I don't really know if anything else here has changed. I've heard some things that they have changed the expedition. So now they're a little bit different. We might check that stuff out. I think I got it. Here's that signal again. So do we have to talk to Connor? Where's Connor? Here, need, wait, no, time. I couldn't hear anything. Let's try again. That's what Connor says. The signal is weak. We need to amplify it somehow. I have an idea, but I'm not sure. Okay, it looks like we'll have to talk to Chris here. Welcome, Chris. I can't pick up that darn signal. The radio tower should amplify it, but I'll have to work some magic. I'll need some time. Let's meet by the tower in the east. Okay, so let's talk to Chris. I'm also pretty certain that we need to finish these tasks before we go to that transportation hub. Okay, let's also go to expedition. Let's claim here our daily loot because it's never too much loot. Well, it looks like we got to go here to this eastern watchtower. I'm also very curious. How do we unlock this location? I'm pretty certain you won't see it because when you start last and survival, you don't see this police department because to unlock it, you have to go to this eastern watchtower. So maybe you also can't see this transport hub. You need to assemble this eastern watchtower to unlock it. And also we have a different loading screen. We still have the same loading screens here. And I thought that they will change these loading screens and not the main loading screen. But hey, it is what it is. Find Chris at the eastern watchtower there we go chris is over here we are foolish to hope there would be no zombies here deal with them while i'm preparing the gear okay prepare your gear mate and i will deal with all of these zombie officers it doesn't really look like there is that many of them there we go let's deal with the hungry chomper and let's deal with another hungry chomper and i'm very very excited to see how hard is that transport hub I don't know if it's going to be like another Bunker Alpha, if it's going to be like another Bunker Ravo or something in the middle. I don't have a slightest clue. Great, now let's go check the equipment. Alrighty, let's see what's going on. Let's check that equipment. But I've already fixed here everything. There's nothing else we need to fix, but hey, we'll see. The tower is working. That's the first good piece of news today. Okay, he's going to play on those computers. Hmm, how about now? Oh no, not the freaking block. What is he talking about? We need to recalibrate the repeater, but I'm not going there. Neither should you. I only we had... Now that's an idea. Let's assemble a drone. I hear one falling not far from here. Maybe there's some parts left there. So I'm trying to read this very fast as these things don't stay for too long. They just pop up and they disappear. 
So that's a little bit sad. So now we have to go to the transport hub. Okay, let's go. Hopefully these guns that I have here will suffice. Oh, and also here we've gotten a brand new season, season 39. So these are the rewards that we can get. It looks like it's an identical season to the previous one. We don't really get here anything too crazy. The only good things that we get are these three purple blueprints that you can get at level 33. And that's pretty much it. So let's hop into this transport hub. All right, and let's see what this place has to offer. There's already a drone on the left. Let's touch it. New recipe available. There we go. We have unlocked this drone, ladies and gentlemen, so we can craft this thing. Drone and docking station. Okay, so we need these iron billets. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. Can I touch this thing? A drone required. Oh, so we can't even get here. Understandable. We got to go back home. And also, from what I've heard, we'll be able to use these drones as helpers. So that's what I was talking about. They should implement this settlement with our base. So right now, to craft these workbenches, we need to have these iron billets. To get these iron billets, you have to play in the settlement. So finally, the settlement and our main base, they're kind of connected. So now it kind of makes more sense to play in the settlement. Because if you want to unlock the drones, you have to play in the settlement. And you will unlock those drones and you'll be able to use those drones everywhere, not only in the settlement. At least that's what I understand. And I think it's pretty cool. So now we have to assemble the drone and docking station. Okay, let's go for it. And there we go. I can see some changes in the settlement. So I'm storing here these iron billets. And this wood will disappear from the pallet. What if I just add two pieces of wood? There we go. They appear. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so we are ready to assemble this docking station. Let's go to the blueprints. Let's craft this drone and docking station. Does it have to stay on the ground? Place on the stone floor level three. Okay. We could probably fit it over here. There we go. Go. It fits kind of all right. Oh, it's not even finished yet. We have to assemble it. Whoa! Look at the kind of things that we need for it. We need 10 of these flight controllers. Can be found in the port laboratory. So we need to start clearing the laboratory. It looks like we've also got a new resources at the laboratory. So we won't even be able to go to the new location unless we build this drone and docking station. That's going to take us quite a while. So I have almost all of the resources necessary to assemble this drone and docking station. Let's fill it all up. So I only don't have 40 of these aluminum cables, which are pretty hard to get. And I also don't have 10 of these flight controllers, which can be found in the port laboratory laboratory. Well, I already have here six of these aluminum cables and I also have some of these rubber hoses, so that's better than nothing. Well, I'm gonna fire up this montage table and I'll start getting these aluminum cables because we need 40 of them in order to unlock that transport hub. So now let's check out the settlement because it looks like more and more updates are gonna be connected to this settlement. So if you're not playing here yet, you'll probably have to because this drone docking station and this drone upgrade workbench requires you to play in the settlement. And those are the only two first workbenches. What if in the future we get more? So probably Probably you'll have to play in the settlement. And now when the settlement and the main world are more connected, it is more fun to play in the settlement. Now let's also check out these new expeditions because I've heard some people talking about these new expeditions. There are a little bit different, but before we hop there, I'd like to show you something about this garage. So I've built here a level two garage and I've also upgraded this minivan. So now it's at level 11. So for those who don't know, I have unlocked here this ghost town and I have this destroyed station. And now in this ghost town, when we try to assemble the squad, we see here some more things. It says that we have a threat here. Explosive zombie. Upon dying, explodes and deals AOE damage. Docker's aimed shot may donate it prematurely. Okay, so let's try to auto squad here. So second in light, toxic bottle. A mercenary in the spot loses 5% of health every three seconds. What? Oil puddle reduces the mercenary's attack speed by 10% and movement speed by 25%. Damages 1% of mercenary's health every five seconds. Blocks health restoration from using abilities. Uh, it looks like it became a lot, a lot harder. So these expeditions already required lots of upgrades. So now it looks like they're even harder. I know we'll have to see it. Look at this. We never had this stuff before. Now it is over here. Well, I have upgraded my minivan once. Hopefully that is enough. Well, if that's not enough, we'll see. Whatever, let's drop this thing. Oh, wow, that dude's gonna die already. Look at this. Well, maybe we'll deal with them somehow, some way. I have no idea. Probably we'll just lose here. There's no way we'll survive unless they made these things easier. Plus, there's also a timer. So, wow. Absolutely wow. They made these things a lot harder. That's all I can say. Let's drop another one of these turrets. So now you probably have to have more mercenaries to progress further as different mercenaries will have different abilities. Maybe they'll be able to withstand some stuff more. I don't know. But this is only a second wave and uh, Karma's already almost dead here, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay, there we go, another wave and we are just waiting here. And they're dying in those puddles, which is absolutely ridiculous if you ask me. Okay, let's try to use Connor here, Connor's ability. If this is the last wave, maybe they made them easier, but I'm sure there's one more wave. Maybe this is only a second wave. Yeah, there we go, there's one more wave here. There we go, let's try to heal up. And yeah, there's no way we will survive this thing here right now. 
We don't do enough damage. I don't have enough health here. The dudes are dead. There's only this guy. Oh, the guy exploded. Another zombie's died as well. We did it. We somehow some way progressed. Cool. I like it. Well, that is better than nothing. We have gotten five of these mercenary tags. We've gotten a bunch of asbestos. We've gotten some of these spark plugs and more sheaves. So I went back to the base and now I think we can upgrade this minivan to even a higher level. Let's add these things. Let's upgrade the minivan. Oh, wow. So now we need 20 of these aluminum cables to get the minivan to a higher level, which is going to be a huge bottleneck because we need these aluminum cables to build that drone docking station. We also need these aluminum wires to upgrade some things over here. I think we have a substation or whatnot. Also, the substation over here requires 60 of these aluminum cables. So I don't think we'll be able to upgrade that minivan anytime soon. But what we could do, though, is progress even further in this ghost town. So here we have another threat now. Raging Zombie, upon receiving damage, builds up speed and power on its blows, restores its health with each blow. Mercenaries with a high attack speed are not the best choice against it. Protects a mercenary from zombie strikes and explosions. Lemmy can't put a turret in their place. And Jack of all trades can't put a shield there. So this guy is useless. Lemmy Maverick is absolutely useless here. So we need to now have different mercenaries. How about instead of Tucker, I'm going to add here Jack of trades. And instead of Maverick, I'll add here Tucker. Maybe that'll be a bit better. I have no idea because that guy wouldn't have been able to place the turret. Anyways, it looks like before you didn't really have to upgrade all of your mercenaries. Now they want you to upgrade more mercenaries. I don't know. In any case, let's see how this stuff works out here. There we go. Let's start healing up. Maybe I started healing up a little bit too early. That's it. They just destroyed that blockade thing, whatever that was. That it was pointless. I thought it would have lasted for much longer. Okay, there are a lot of zombies here and uh, it's just the wave number one. I think Connor is going to die here kind of soon. Okay, we dealt with another zombie. There we go. Connor has gotten a buff because we've killed that zombie with his special attack. Okay, that dude is going to die. Connor is gone basically. Spam, spam, spam. There we go. We were able to heal up at least a little bit. That's not too much, but that's honest work. There we go. Let's do special Connor's ability at least for a while. Oh, no, that's it. I've overheated the turret. That's a mistake. Uh, still, not that huge of a mistake. Overheating the turret isn't really that bad, but it's better to not overheat it as you can finish off lower health zombies. Okay, now there's only Karma left. Okay, we'll have to heal up. Okay, we dealt with one zombie. There's still a few zombies there and I got defeated. So I tried doing that way with other mercenaries and I kept repeating it and I couldn't really beat it. Maybe we can still do it if I tried a few more times. Maybe I would have gotten lucky, but that's fine. Let's go now here to this destroyed station. And we have here another threat. Attacks mercenaries with the attack trait first. Explodes when damaged. Deals damage to all nearby targets equal to 85% of their maximum health. We can't put any shields there. And toxic pottery. Mercenary in the pot loses 5% of health every 3 seconds. So it looks like these expeditions became a little bit more strategic, if we can even call that. I'm not really sure if I actually like that or not because I'm not really into this kind of stuff. There go. The barrel already exploded and that's it. My character almost died there. Wow, that's crazy. Maybe some people enjoyed this update that it became harder. I don't know. Oh, wow. And here I just got absolutely destroyed as well. There's still another wave of zombies left and there is nothing I can do about it. So I tried switching here some mercenaries now. Maybe things will work out, but I really doubt it. And it's not like I have lots of mercenaries here anyways. I mean, we were almost done. There were only two more zombies left, so maybe it is possible to do something. So these were the new expeditions. What do you think about them? Do you like them? So check this out. When we go to this port location, we don't only get these flight controllers needed to assemble that drone docking station, but we can also get these rubber hoses, and they're very useful for that drone docking station. So even though now we need more of these rubber hoses, but the developers have given us more opportunities to get these rubber hoses, and I guess that's kind of cool. So this was a quick overview of this update. Now there's only one thing left for us to do is grind this laboratory and I'm gonna be live streaming here on YouTube so make sure to subscribe to not miss that and I highly suggest you check out my dead island to let's blur click on the second card and you'll get my resident evil 4 let's blur hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to jump subscribe button and notification bell that it miss any future videos and consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep <laughs>